An award-winning songwriter is asking for the public's help in getting back her life's work. Burglars broke into Rosalind Katrakia's home in Aina Haina yesterday morning and stole her computers, containing 20 years of her work. New tonight at 10, KITV4's Jody Leong joins us live with new information on this case. Jody? Paula Katrakia told KITV4 tonight two neighbors have come forward as witnesses. They saw two men at the home at about 9 yesterday morning. One neighbor saw a man jumping over Katrakia's fence. A second man was standing near a navy blue car with its trunk wide open. The burglars turned Rosalind Katrakia's home upside down. We were at church all morning long and come home for this and... Katrakia says her heart dropped when she realized the burglars had taken her computers and with it years of hard work. So everything is gone. All of my original scores, all of my, for all of the shows I've written over 40 musicals. The burglars broke in through a screen window of the home Katrakia shares with her husband and her mother, Bibi Freitas. It was their second break-in in three months. We've been robbed so many times since I've been a kid that my mom and I early on just realized that we don't hold on to stuff. It's not the stuff, it's the work. Part of that work is for the current production of The Princess and the Iso Peanut, which Katrakia co-wrote with the late playwright Lisa Matsumoto. Katrakia says the thieves stole all the work she did to transfer her handwritten music to sheet music for the show's cast and crew. But the show is moving ahead. Katrakia says they'll struggle through and will be ready for their April 9th opening at Hawaii Theater. But it's the loss of years of work that hurts Katrakia the most. These are my masters. I have, um, I have no duplicates. Every single note to any show that I've ever done is in there. If we could possibly just get the computers back with my life's work on it. Katrakia says two neighbors have come forward as witnesses. One neighbor saw a man strip off his clothes and baseball cap in a nearby yard, where neighbors also found a jewelry box from Katrakia's home. Police say the burglars also helped themselves to cans of juice, which they left behind and which police took into evidence. Now, neighbors describe the burglars as two local men about five feet, eight inches tall. Katrakia's uh, computers is looking for three computers, two IMACs, and a hard drive called a time capsule. Her friends are offering a reward of at least $500 for information leading to the return of her work. And Katrakia says she does not care about anything else that was stolen. She simply asked for the return of her computers. No questions asked. Reporting live, Jody Leon, KITV4 News.